It's Couched with Carson Kressley, the world's first interior design talk show. Brought to you by the High Point Furniture Market. Our designer guests include California luxury interior designer Douglas Truesdell and design superstar Kara Cox. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Carson! Good. Give it up for Cookie, everybody. Um, got me feeling so jazzy. Uh, welcome to Couch, the design show where I meet interior designers that I love. I'm kind of design obsessed. And uh, we find out what inspires them, where they get great stuff, how they started, how you can be your own interior designer, all that good stuff. So we have two amazing guests today. I've been fans of them. I've been stalking them on Instagram. And uh, we're going to meet them, see some of their work, and um, get inspired. So, shall we? Look at that. It's like when I sit on the sofa, the music stops. And then when I stand up, the music starts. And then when I sit down, it's, and then, it, it's pretty magical. I highly recommend it. Guys, we have such a good show today. We have such good guests. A couple people that I've been absolutely obsessed with um, since I discovered them. I've met one of our guests a couple years ago. I just met one today, but I've been stalking them on the gram um, for years. So first up, is a design superstar. I'm such a fan of his work. He's a luxury interior designer. He has 30 years of industry experience with clients, uh, mostly in LA, but all over the world. And he's been in traditional home, New England home, Architectural Digest, and so many other magazines. Please welcome to the couch stage, Douglas Truesdale, everybody. Where's Dougie? Here he is. Look at you, so handsome. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. Oh. Okay. Hi, Dougie. Hi, Carson. Can I call you Dougie? You can. You're so darn cute, <laughs> I feel like I have to call you Dougie. Isn't he handsome, everybody? Thank you. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little vodka just to break the yeah. ice. <laughs> um, so um, you've been doing this a long time. 33 years, yeah, I'm not and, young. <laughs> and you look gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I've been, um, I've been st I was stalking your Instagram before I even met you. And um, I feel like you can tell so much about people from their Instagram because you post a lot of great pictures, even from your childhood. Yes, yeah, I have and, an interesting history, I think. Yeah, <laughs> and you were like in this room with like the most beautiful drapes and like wooden paneling. I'm like, it, who is this person? But you had a very, um, it looked like a very design-oriented childhood. I did, I, I had the good fortune of growing up uh, with grandparents, my paternal grandparents mm -hmm. uh, hired two really well-known American decorators uh, in their lifetime. Who uh, were they? Ruby Ross Wood, who okay. was very prolific in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. Okay, I'm gonna use um, that as my drag name, <laughs> Ruby Ross Wood. It's a good name, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so she was like a Dorothy Draper kind of person? Yes, uh, exactly. Um, or an Elsie DeWolf. Exactly, yeah, she was sort of in the beginning of what we consider American interior design okay. uh, as, a, as a business. Um, and she had famously as her assistant, Billy Baldwin. Oh, um, tell us about, <laughs> tell the people, especially the children, um, about Billy Baldwin. Well, Billy Baldwin is considered the dean of American decorating. Mm -hmm. He, um, and to this day, is kind of revered as somebody that really just established American taste. So he became my grandparents' decorator, ah. and then my grandmother hired him to decorate our childhood homes, um, right. first in Greenwich, Connecticut, and then in Maine. And then in Maine. Yeah. So when you were a little kid, that was like normal. Like you had like, yeah, you know, incredible. a design space. Incredible. But did you, do you recall being like awestruck by it or inspired you by know, it or I, wanting to do it? 
In my own home, I just sort of thought, you know, this is normal. But my grandmother lived at a whole nother right. level. So right. I was very awestruck by her. I mean, yeah, she seems like an anti-mame <laughs> type. Totally. That's exactly mm -hmm. what she was like. So she dressed in mamboche, which was a really famous American couturier. Right. It looks like <laughs> Meinbacher. And then I would read about American yeah. socialites yeah. like CZ Guest. Yeah. There weren't designers. Mm -hmm. People didn't, you know, use Dior, Yves Saint Laurent. They used this guy named Mambo Shea, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which looks like Meinbacher. Yeah. It was very like. He was the first American uh, fashion designer to be invited to show couture in Paris. Okay, uh, so he was he was like the first. Mm -hmm. Big Ralph deal. Ricci was the second. Okay. <laughs> many, See, look many, at many. You. you. You know your history, which I love. Um, I wanted to show. We have some great pictures oh, okay. of you when you're starting out. So you grew up in Maine, but then there you are. Oh, that's, yes, oh boy. <laughs> I, when I saw that picture, I was like, who's this hottie? Look at that um, young man. I think I'm 28, so this is 1991, the first year right. I was on my own. And oh, that's I, when I moved to New York City, 1991. Uh, and then let's do the next one. Oh, okay, this okay. is currently, yeah, that's it looks me, like Palm Springs. Palm Springs, yes, where we have a home there as well. Okay, yeah. do you love that whole mid-century vibe? I do, I do, Palm and Springs is awesome. Do you design a house based on where it is. So if you're in Palm Springs and it's a mid-century house, you're gonna do more of that vibe. Yes and no, to a certain degree. I actually think the house itself speaks to me perhaps more than uh -huh. where it's located. Okay. Um, and I do think that is something when one is designing a home that you kind of need to pay attention to the architecture and what the house is telling you. Right, is um, that how you start your process? You go and see the house first? Yes, yeah, I, I find it, um, Usually, I'm very lucky. I'm one of these people that I can envision things very mm -hmm. quickly. So if I'm invited to uh, see somebody's home, right? yeah, I'll walk through it and I almost instantly can get an idea of what right. it is that I it's would like. It's like speed dating, <laughs> I think. Oh, speaking of speed dating, oh, we'll look see. at this picture. Yeah, so the... what a, you're like a gangster here. <laughs> oh, my... You need some gold chains. You've got your Rolls Royce, <laughs> yeah. you've got your... Um, you've got your that was my first top. car when I moved to Los Angeles. I thought, you know, why not have something really? that just says LA? But you know, that car, every time it went in the shop, it was five grand. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I think we have some pictures of some of your spaces. Oh, yeah. What I love is that um, the, each space looks so um, unique unto itself, and you don't really have like a. Some people you see, they're oh, really like, I'm, oh, that's like a formula. I'm very happy to hear you say that. This is, I, they're all very original. I try to make them very client specific, um, all of my projects. And I wanted to ask you about the artwork in this. Like, do you normally find that your clients have artwork and you build the room this around This is their it? collection, exactly. So, so how yeah. does that process work? Well, it's just like what you said. So, you know, I knew that they had this collection and mm -hmm. we, um, and this room, I think there might be another shot of the room. I, I don't think remember. there is. Well, let's go to the um, next one. It's a, it's a huge cavernous space. That's actually the master bedroom in the same residence. But um, okay. again, a lot of color here. Right. But the backgrounds, like you hear the walls are a pale gray and the curtains are, kind of a really soft stone color. Mm -hmm. uh, we get a little dash of color in the embroidered uh, tape trim uh, on the leading edges there. But but the artwork is the star. Yes, And if exactly. people are watching at home yep. and they have, that's probably a great way to start a room. Yeah, it is, absolutely. Is start yeah. with a great piece of art. And it doesn't even have to be, for me, I don't mm -hmm. even care where it comes from. It could come from like, it could be a Picasso or it could come from home goods. Exactly. I don't care I, as long as I like react if it, to it. Exactly, if you have a resonance with it, that's all that counts. Right, and then this, totally different, yeah. dark and moody. Yes, so this Same is- Same client? Uh, no, this is uh, at David Lee's residence and uh, David was the gentleman that created Frasier mm. um, and this he is, sounds uh, rich. Is he single? <laughs> Actually, he is. Carson. Oh, will you introduce me? <laughs> I would. I'd be happy yeah. to. How old is he? He's a lovely man. Uh, I am going to politely decline to okay, answer that yeah. question. <laughs> I like him just right on the edge, you know? Um, I don't have to put up with him for too long. I don't want to get a phone call. Um, but <laughs> that's very that's very sexy. Yeah, I love that. And the painting is just so Yeah, like, mm. I didn't know if that was a painting or a photograph. No, it's a painting. But yeah. I was going to ask to blow that up yeah. later. <laughs> Uh, I'm very lonely. Yeah, and the carpet is uh, hair on hide. Oh, I saw like the Brazilian cow hide and mm -hmm. it's like chevron. Exactly. Yep. Okay, yep. see, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> we are going to, um, we're gonna take a little break. Um, uh, before we do that uh -huh. though, where can people find you? 
at uh, douglastruesdale.com is my website, uh, and, and this photography is from my website. And, and you uh, also have to follow Douglas on Instagram. It's also it's just Douglas, Douglas Truesdale. Truesdale. Yeah, at Douglas Truesdale. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be right back. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna take a little break. We have another fabulous guest coming up right after these messages. <laughs> Cookie, everybody. All right, we are back here at Couched. Up next, we have an amazing style superstar. She's an interior designer based in Greensboro, North Carolina. She's been featured in Traditional Home, Domino, and HGTV Magazine, and she's just launched a new collection with Thompson Traders. Please welcome to the Couch stage, Kara Cox. Oh, hi. And you're gorgeous. Look at you. Welcome. I don't want to mess up the hair and the makeup. Hi, Kara Cox. Hi, Carson. Look at you. You're gorgeous. Thank you. I love everything you're wearing, head to toe. Thank you. Thank the you. jewelry, the dress. This is like so zodiac-y. It is. Um, and then the pop of color with that canary yellow shoe. Um, you. you Not surprisingly, um, you started in fashion, right? I did. Tell me about that with Saks, right? Started at Saks right out of college. Um, thought I was moving to New York, big city. Right. Out of North Carolina, mm -hmm. yeah. And I was actually dating my now husband at the okay. time. And he has a family business here. So I went to Saks, was doing um, yeah, retail what did you, management. What did you do there? Because they have like a training program. They have a great training program. And so many yes. people I know that study fashion in school will go to this training program for SACS. You learn about the entire business, The right? entire business from management of retail. Um, you can go into the buyer training. It's mm -hmm. like, a, it's a great um, training ground for anyone who wants to go into the fashion industry. Right. So, you know, you switched from fashion to interior design. And I tell people all the time, like design is design. Like if you right. have an eye for putting together an outfit, which is about form and scale and color and mm -hmm. accessorizing, you can do a room. Yes. You can also make a huge mistake though, because like if you buy a, a dress and it's like, oh, this doesn't fit, maybe you like they're out a couple hundred dollars. Right. If you order a couch, say like a giant pair of lips and you decide you don't like it anymore, you've spent a lot of money. I mean like this as a room would be a lot. Right? That would, but it would be fabulous. It would be fun. And it would be great for a show house, but um, how can somebody who has that fashion eye kind of translate it to their home? Do you have like, do you use fashion when you work with your clients? I know some designers will say, show me your closet. Right. And um, you can figure out, you know, I think what that's they a like. great place to start because you see what colors they're comfortable right. with and what they gravitate to. Mm -hmm. But I also think that sometimes people are a little safe in fashion choices as well. And they want right. a designer to push them outside of their comfort zone. Right. So I also think there are a lot of ways you can work fashion into your home with small details like trims or uh -huh. um, drapery details mm -hmm. and the way you use pleating or okay. specific tailoring um, right. throughout your room. So, and mixed metals. You right. know, like the hardware, the jewelry, the jewelry of a room. I love to do powder rooms because I think that's a place where you can really use a lot of those little details that right. you would pull from fashion. And that's a great tip for people at home. If you are nervous about like, if you're gonna take the plunge and maybe be your own interior designer, which I know people shudder, um, do a powder room. Right. Go crazy. Like, because no it's, limits. A, it's a yes. tiny space. You're not in it that much. It's mm -hmm. usually for guests. So find like a wallpaper you absolutely love. Find right. a light fixture that looks like your favorite piece of jewelry. Go bananas Paint your trim in a there. color. Like yeah. do something fun on the ceiling. And it's yes. a great way to get your feet wet yes. and dabble in interior design. And then you can, you know, gain your confidence and move to the next room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, speaking of rooms, we have some of your images here. This you have a collection with, it's Thompson Traders, Thompson right? Thompson Traders. Mm -hmm. And that's mostly, is it like kitchen and bath? It's a kitchen things. and bath line. So vanity, sinks, tub, range hood. Is that tub from there? That's the tub. That tub, I have to have that tub. You need that tub. I'm, that tub will complete my life. It's amazing. Uh, what, is that 
brass? What is that? So all of their pieces are made of copper. It's made in Mexico. Okay. Um, the Thompson family is a family in business. They're based in Greensboro. How did you hook up with them? So we had mutual friends mm -hmm. in Greensboro. And okay. um, actually my kids have gone to a Spanish immersion school. So we connected over the fact that they were a Mexican American family. Right. My kids um, are bilingual. And then they worked with me on some custom pieces for our home okay. when we were renovating five or six years ago. Yeah, and Thanks. this, this vanity. This is the vanity. Um, with that bow front, it's amazing. But also, this is a great example of what we're talking about with the, the powder, powder room. room. To go crazy. Go big, um, yes. Do a patterned wall, do great sconces, and then the sink is incredible. Thank um, you. And we were talking about this a little bit backstage about like the two most important rooms in your house are your kitchen and your bathroom. Right. You know, it's the most expensive to redo. It's the one that has to function really highly. Mm -hmm. But you also want to make them fabulous because it's it's a big investment. It is a big investment. And I think you get your money back out of kitchens and bathrooms as mm -hmm. well um, when you go to resell down the road. But you spend so much time in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really the heart of every home and you're entertaining right. your friends and family there. You're cooking, you're sharing meals together. You're also touching a lot of things. And somebody, I don't know which designer told me this, but like you want to invest in the things that you're constantly touching. The finishes. So like your yeah. um, faucet handles, right. your doorknobs. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that you're actually interacting with in mm -hmm. the room. So it's worth that extra. And like you said, when somebody's going to come to buy your house, they're not going to be looking at your den and being like, oh, well, they're going to look at your kitchen right. and your bathroom. Right. Or your kitchen and your bathrooms. And you know, one thing I love about this collection is that we did mixed metal. So right. we did a nickel and brass finish together mm -hmm. on each piece. And we're asked so often by clients how to mix finishes right. in a house. And everyone's afraid to and mix. And how do you do it? You just do it. So I say, if you would wear a David Yerman piece of jewelry, mm -hmm. you can mix metal in your house. What's yeah, the difference? We do it all the time. We do Silver it all the and time. gold. I'm not Silver doing it, but I usually I, do. I, platinum and gold. I usually do. Yeah. And it looks great. All metals look good together. That's right. Yes. Um, rose gold, silver. You can do the same thing yes. in your house. Yes. Where can people find Kara Cox online? So our website is karacoxinteriors.com. Okay. Instagram, Kara Cox Interiors. Um, and, we and, keep it simple. And what's next? What's new and exciting for you? So we're, we are currently working on a project. We just um, finished photography. It's going to be in a coffee table book okay. next year. Um, right. It's a ranch just outside of Greensboro. A um, ranch, okay. It's, it's a second, we've done two projects with this family. It's the second home. We're getting ready to do a beach house okay. next year. Um, and it's gonna be in a book by Afro Chic. Uh, okay. I don't know if you know Brian and Janine out of I Brooklyn. Do. I do. They're doing a second book called The Black Family Home. Mm -hmm. And this is an amazing family that we've worked with and we're really proud of the work we've done because we've used a lot of black makers and mm -hmm. creators and new sources for us and original art. And amazing. it's gonna be phenomenal. Amazing. So All right. Excited. Check out Kara Cox online. Check out the new book by Afro Chic. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we'll be right back after these messages. We're going to do a fun game. Are you game for a game? I'm game. We'll see you in a minute. Hey, welcome back to Couched, everybody. Uh, we have two amazing guests today, and we are going to play a fun game called Destination Design. And I know both Doug and Kara that both of you are inspired by your travels. So this is going to be really easy, breezy. Mm. Grab, <laughs> grab a nice cocktail. Alrighty. And, uh, and we'll start. So Cheers. let me tell you about the game. It's a fan favorite, and designers, that's you guys, are going to be shown an image from around the world, and you'll need to um, guess what country uh, we're talking about. Okay. Super easy. Fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we're going to take a look at the monitor. Here is our first one. Oh. Okay. Um, take Not a moment. As easy as I thought. Take a look at this space. Okay. Doug, what country do you think this is in? This looks like the United States to me. I think it looks like Canada, but I'm not playing okay, the game. Okay. Kara? So what country is it in? Yeah, where is this uh, room? What country? Yeah, I think it looks like the US too. 
We're both wrong. <laughs> You're both wrong. It's in England. Oh. Which is the original US. <laughs> and then they came over here and did a new one. Needs more foils. Yeah, that wasn't super Englishy. Yeah, right? yeah, we needed more chintz. Okay, this one I think is pretty easy, Doug. Where are we? Ooh, you say it's easy, but it mm. could be a number of places. Mm -hmm. Okay, where mm -hmm. could it be? I'm gonna go with Portugal. Portugal. Cara. I'm gonna say Italy. Both of you were thinking too hard. France. It's France. Yes, <laughs> Provence. I'm really trying to throw it. Here. Okay. All right. Next up. Oh, I think I think you'll get this. I have a good feeling about this. Uh, take a look. We've got the lady. She's on the ladder. Uh, where do you think this is uh, shot? Fiji. <laughs> Doug says Fiji. Kara. Uh, I'm gonna say Bali, just to be different, but. Mm. You would be right, it's Bali, Indonesia. You win. <laughs> one you have point. one point. <laughs> Don't get crazy. Uh, next up, we have oh. this opulent room. My goodness, that's a lot of pattern. Uh, Doug, where do we think this is? I'm, wow, the floor is throwing me off. Um, yeah, the, I don't know what's happening on that floor. I think it's a mosaic, but... Um, Hmm, I'm gonna say Italy again. Italy, Cara? I'm gonna say France. Dougie, you're the big winner, oh. it's Italy. I got a point. Okay. Yes, <laughs> it's neck and neck, everybody. <laughs> and this is really important because the winner of the game receives absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, this is kind of unfair. There's no now, context here. I think here. this one is really, really hard uh, because there's macrame. And there's no context. It uh, could be anywhere. Yeah, you can't see the outside. This could be a showroom in it High could Point. It totally be. And it's not a trick question, though. Okay. Um, do your best. Greece. Good guess, Kara. That's a good guess. Um, I'm gonna go Mexico. That's what I would have said. It looks very like Tulumi. It does. But it's Crochet. Malaysia. Never would have guessed that. Me neither. <laughs> I don't even know where Malaysia is. I sort of know. Okay, here's a, a good one. In there. This oh is my. a good one. Oh. Wow. Um, yeah. Um, this is one of my guest bedrooms. No, I'm kidding. Uh, this is in a very exotic location. I'm gonna say Morocco. Oh, you're you're really I'm gonna say Thailand. <laughs> You're both wrong, but uh, you were very close. Mongolia, what did you say? Mongolia, oh, Morocco. It's Mongolia. Oh, that's a yurt. <laughs> Wait, Morocco's Has not close to Mongolia. No, nowhere near it. <laughs> I've never been to Mongolia. I have Mongolia a sweater is, from Mongolia. Yeah, you know, you really want a fur coat in Mongolia. <laughs> uh, yeah, like a mukla. Yeah. <laughs> this is not easy. Uh, no. This one, oh, this is, yeah, this is very hard. I'm so sorry I didn't produce this segment. <laughs> Um, Douglas? The Netherlands. Oh. That is an excellent that guess. That is a good guess. <laughs> but I can tell I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say England. That's also a good guess. I was gonna say South Africa, uh, but it's none of those. It's Quebec. Oh, come on. <laughs> There's no snow. I know. There's what? not even any French people in These that. These are tricky. Okay, I think we have a couple more. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> next up. Could be anywhere. <laughs> it, it could be, it could be Montecito, but it's not. No. Um, okay. Doug, it's, I'm gonna give you a hint. It's, it's, it's in Europe. Okay, so it's not the United States. Okay. All right, well, that's okay. good. Let's see. In Europe. Spain, question mark? Cara? <laughs> it could be Spain. It, I'm a, I'll say Portugal. You mm -hmm. should have said Spain. It's oh. Spain. Oh my. That Yay. means, Dougie, you're We're winning. winning. Two got... to one. Okay, here's the here's one last one. This is going to decide because, Kara, if you get this right, it's oh going to be gosh, a tie. Oh my so much pressure. And remember, and we win half absolutely, of absolutely nothing. nothing. <laughs> Doug, why don't you go first? <sighs> Well, it, 
is very reminiscent of Doris Duke's dining room at Shangri-La in Hawaii, but it's not oh, that. Oh, okay. Uh, but whoever this decorator was sort of copied it um, in a more modern way. Mm -hmm. um, Just go crazy. I'm gonna say Japan. Good guess. It has to, <laughs> I, I think it's Japan too. Because of all like the screens yeah. and yeah. the wooden kind of yeah. like ceiling. The stools. Yep. Right. It's Tunisia. I know, <laughs> I know. Don't hate me. That means. Uh, this we game a, is rigged. We have a big win or no, it's you, you, you won. Win. Don't complain. Where's my basket of nothing? I, uh, I'm gonna figure I'm gonna figure out a gift for you. Maybe some swatches from the pineapple. I think it's this. You get to keep your pineapple cocktail holder. Jim, honey, I'm bringing this home for you. Exactly. That wraps up this episode of Couched. Please tune in again. Give it up for our guests, Kara Cox, Doug Truesdale, and we'll see you next time on The Sofa. Thank you.